Hello, hello all you wonderful and amazing people. It's your girl, Sia Speaks, and this is another episode of Living Life Out Loud. I wanted to give a first-hand look into peritoneal dialysis. This is what I do every night, seven days a week for eight hours. This is my tray that has the accept cleansers I use this to clean the catheter and exit site of my um, on my stomach before I connect and disconnect. This is the Alcavis. This actually cleans the tubing, the plastic cap on um, catheters to make sure things are clean, smooth, and ready to go. Of course, I can't do any of this without my trusted mask and I have gloves. And this is where the magic happens. This is the Destros. This is the solution that sits in my stomach. It sits in my stomach and it goes out of my stomach and it does this for eight hours total. I have actually two bags. This is my backup bag and this is the machine. This is my Home Choice Pro. Um, this is the artificial kidney. Um, this is what cleanses my, my blood every day, seven days a week, eight hours um, at night. And this is the main bag on top of the machine. It's actually a heater. This keeps the solution warm because if it's not warm, then my body will reject it. So it's so important that the solution is warm. So when it enters into my body, it avoids cramps, pain, discomfort, and just prevents all type of complications. So this is, you know, the temporary lifeline, my home choice pro um, artificial kidney. And um, I have it on another tray, um, excuse the mess on the side, um, but this is just keeping the extra supplies that I need. Cause sometimes, you know, human error happens, you know, have my safety mat to keep things clean extra masks, gloves, syringes, clips. Um, about every three months, I have to do a specialty test. So I have the bags for that. Um, pads um, of different sizes to make sure, well, they're gauze to make sure my site is clean, um, is covered. So I have large ones, four by fours, two by twos. Um, you know, this is, the cap that goes on the end of my catheter. Um, and it has iodine on it to keep, iodine, excuse me, on it to keep, you know, infections out, to keep me safe and healthy. So I wanted to give you guys a firsthand look. This is what I do every day, seven days a week for eight hours. Now, um, each um, warrior is different. You know, some people, don't do seven days. Some people don't do eight hours. It all depends on um, how your body is responding with toxins and things of that nature. And excuse my clutter right here. Um, I usually try to have some type of snack and definitely plenty of water and things to drink because in the midst of the night, I do get kind of thirsty. And when you're connected to the machine for eight hours, um, whatever you need, you got to have it close by because, you know, you're going to be preoccupied. Um, <laughs> for eight hours and then hand sanitizer. Um, Cause you know, if I touch a book or my iPad or my phone, I wanna go ahead and, you know, disinfect my hands before I touch any parts of my catheter. And then of course Vaseline, cause my hands get dry y'all. Y'all would have no idea how dry and cracky and whew, out of control my hands get. And um, I do have a medical pole um, I was doing manual treatments um, four hours a day, but that now has since changed. So my medical pole is now going to go in the garage and out of the way. But yeah, guys, this is my dialysis setup. This is what I do. Um, excuse the little stuff in the corner. Um, those are my sanitizer wipes and again, a whole bunch of lotion because dry skin is a reality, unfortunately, on this journey. But if you 
ever wondered what the setup looked like, what peritoneal dialysis was, here's the setup, here's the machine. This is what I do. Um, I'm thankful for the opportunity and um, it's part of the journey and yeah. So any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than um, willing to answer them. PD, dialysis, it's, it's a great solution for those who have um, a busy lifestyle and they wanna be able to be at home when they're doing treatment, but you definitely have to be diligent. You have to be focused because it's all on you. You don't have a nurse and doctor putting you on the machine, taking you off. You have to be 100% responsible for your care and your treatment. Like, okay, no matter what I'm doing, no matter how great and amazing time I'm having, I know at a certain time I have to cut off so I can go ahead and get treatment. I know for myself, 11 p.m. is the latest because to run for eight hours, that runs pretty much into the next day, you know, like early in the morning. I'm usually done about 7, 7.15 in the morning. So 11 p.m., I try to be already up and running so I can get my eight hours done and, you know, take on the day. So here it is. Set up for peritoneal dialysis at home, from my tray to my machine to everything else I will need in the meantime. You guys be awesome.